Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house doing another review video. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in, welcome back. As always, I appreciate all of you. If you're new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do uh, very niche uh, review videos on shaving products and other skincare products. And uh, we take a deep dive into looking at the products and kind of get an idea of the scent and um, yeah, hope to provide some value to you folks. This is something that you've been looking at or want to know more, or maybe you've never heard of, and it will pike your interest. Um, that's the genesis of this vi of this uh, channel and why I do these videos. Because uh, I was looking for this con type of content um, when I first got into this hobby somewhere around Christmas of last year, a little bit before Christmas, and um, didn't really see much of it. Uh, There's a lot of shaving videos out there and takes um, on scents from uh, various YouTube influencer, influencers, which, you know, is very helpful, right? Um, but I wanted a little bit more, and that's what we do here. So anyway, today we're gonna be reviewing, and for those, I'm sorry, for those who are returning, you guys are simply sexier and better, and you know it. I know it, you know it. That's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. So anyway, uh, today we're going to be reviewing Tombstone from PAA Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And there is the man, the myth, the legend, the savant, the master, Mr. Smythe, Douglas Smythe. Anyway, uh, this one is very unique in the sense where he actually has the scent notes on the cover of his label, which I've never seen before. This is the first time that I've seen this. So this is gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. So first off, these scent notes are, I love, like, I didn't realize I was going to like gunpowder and leather, um, but trying different soaps and, um, yeah, I really love these scents, guys. I mean, I'm usually a citrus and barbershop and floral kind of guy. Um, fruity. I like, you know, really nice smelling stuff. Um, but I'm beginning to, like, really like this kind of uh, very masculine, very uh, Western um, uh, scents. So anyway, you got this, like, old, this makes me think of, like, old warm. What do you call that wallpaper that you would find in an old home? And really a nice design here. There's the crown, like Crown King. CK. And that's Fran in the background. So I got the CK6 formula. So your standard tub from them. CK6 is a vegan base, which has a ton of different butters, which makes the lather quite dense and um, beautiful. And oh my, oh, it's almost like translucent in some areas, guys. Wow, it's very white in color. Some nice peaks in this pour. This I call CK6 canyons. They look like canyons, like the Grand Canyon out of Arizona. Let's do our first smell here. Hmm. So right off the top, I pick up more leather than anything. But now I'm picking up some gunpowder. The bergamot and the rose and the geranium are a supporting role here. You can barely pick it up, but I think it just adds more body and a different like level of scent to this where it's not as crass as you would think hearing leather and um, gunpowder. But it's a very nice scent. It's a Western scent. want to smell like a like a cowboy or uh, what you would think of someone in an old western town kind of like what John Wayne would smell like this is what you would um, 
This is what this comes off as. I really love this scent. It's really unique. It's not often you get to smell like leather, you know? Like, it's hard to find. But anyway, um, let's read from the website. It says, The original Wild West blend made in Arizona, USA. Scent profile, gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, white rose. When you hear the word tombstone, Arizona, like a trigger, it immediately conjures up images of Wyatt, Virgil, Morgan Earp, and that rascal Doc Holliday on that fateful day, rugged, ready, and cool as cucumbers. Maybe a quote from one of the movies that automatically leaves, leaves your lips, but what about the scent? On the ground research was needed. I went as far as visiting the bustling little mining town of Yore to take it all in, eight times. What my nose picked up on was the heavy scent of horse saddle and holster leather, gunpowder from spent shotguns and pistols of the reenactment, sweet and intoxicating whiffs of opium seeping from the canvas flaps of makeshift opium dens, tobacco scents escaping the mouths of the doomed Clanton boys, and the beat-up spittoons precariously rocking on the floorboards of the floorboards of the rowdy saloons. Then there are the sweet floral scents of the overly painted faced ladies of the night to consider. And last but not least, the complex, sophisticated aroma of Earl Grey steeping in a teacup below the hungover mug of Doc Holliday in his chair at the card table. And he has here Fun fact, the world's second oldest and largest rose bush is in Tombstone. Wow. The Lady Banksia Rose, white as snow and full with bloom every April. The scent engulfs the town every spring and has since 1885. Wow. Very cool. Let's take a look at the splash, folks. This is one of the few splashes from PAA that is absolutely clear. There's menthol in here. Very cool. As always, the custom glass bottles from PAA. His after splashes left so long to like cologne soon. No orifice reducer, which I love. Yeah, this is more of the leather and gunpowder. So this is going to be a very masculine scent once you use both the soap and the splash. So as always, folks, I appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate all the comments. If you're not subbed, that's okay. That's okay. We're just here for you, folks. So as always, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, take care of one another. Let's lift people up. Let's not pull people down. Let's lift people up. As always, take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Have a great morning. Have a great day. And um, stay cool this summer and stay warm this winter if you're in the southern hemisphere. So, anyway, take care, everybody. Bye.